Imagine a straight line graph that is headed upwards from the center or the bottom left, zero, zero coordinates. Instead of a line, replace that line with I follow through best on my ideas when I have steps laid out in front of me and following these steps and coming up with ideas on completing these steps is what frees and facilitates my creativity. But that creativity comes from following grounded logical steps to completing or at least working towards a defined goal, a defined objective, a defined target. Without these things, I believe I would find it very difficult to achieve anything. You are only left with creativity and with creativity comes chaos without order, without sounding like a dictator. We do require some order in our lives to allow our creative side to come out within a confined yet secure environment. Confinement for our creative projects and ideation process protects those ideas those from ideas. being unused as linear confinement over a process of achieving a goal excels us towards that goal as the ideas we have confined are used in a logical step-by-step -step process. The ideas become used and therefore become valuable and as we all know knowledge is not power action is action is power actioning these creative ideas comes from establishing a common goal a target that requires some creativity to achieve but then following through on that creativity by establishing what the desired outcome is at the beginning imagine a straight line graph that is headed upwards from the center or the bottom left zero zero coordinates instead of a line replace that line with boxes that are going in the same direction inside of the boxes we have random bright colors visualize this chart with those boxes with the bright random colors in the box the fact that boxes are going up is the steps you are taking towards achieving your goal and hitting your target the boxes themselves are the order and the bright random colors are the chaos we as people as humans we are a mixture of both we have emotions yet think logically to satisfy our beliefs without the two we would be completely devoid of any humanity and that is when at least for me life can be confusing and aimless set a goal set a target create the steps that you need to follow through and then allow the creativity to come out in those steps in a logical process that you've defined so that you can achieve those goals and hit those targets the point here is not to limit ourselves it's to define what we want so that we may know what steps we need to take to get there by using this analogy we understand that not and that not every single part of us is a logical predictable component there is some kind of instability and unpredictability to the nature of who we are but at least if we define the things that we want we can start to define exactly what steps we need to take to go and get it visualizing colors in a box or however you choose to define the chaotic side to our nature the more we do to understand and accept that that's exactly what it is that we are the more we can use these things to our benefits take your time there's no rush to this process enjoy life and enjoy using what time you have to enjoy the process of achieving the goals that you want to set for yourself Beat the change you want to see in the world. Follow for more. Thanks. Dan Leo.